kind of thought that's the way it go. I knew the Brimage would kind of swing with that. Bit, I've seen a few of his fights before and he's a bit wild and kind of so precise with his strikes. So I knew he'd kind of like make the guy miss and hurt him, which he always does. And he can take a shot too because the guy kind of, I think he landed on Connor once, but kind of just okay. shrug it off, pop up. I, to be fair to you, man, Brimage, he took like three or four of them off him like, and Connor hits like a truck. So he's a tough dude, but uh, yeah, Connor looked just slick from the start. From the start to finish looked slick. Weigh-ins even, yes, everything looked... Just another level up from Connor. You know what I mean? So really happy, obviously. The, the confidence. Oh, he exudes it. It's like he sweats out his pores, man. You know what I mean? The guy is so confident and he's a class act. You know, he's just ah, it was, it was beautiful, beautiful. And it, like I've been training with Connor a long time. He's grown up a lot in the last two or three years, and it's great to see him kind of progress now and what he's doing. It's amazing. Yeah, great it's for the sport. His mental side seems so strong. He's saying about Brimage that Brimage was emotionally attached to, like, yeah. separated. From yeah, and I think I think Connor, like I may be wrong in, the, in saying this, but like, Connor will tell you himself. But I think like he probably would have said a few years ago, he would have been that kind of guy, you know, got emotionally in the fights, and he's completely changed all that now. And he just kind of goes in, and it's like business, like he just controls, dominates, and beautiful to watch, like phenomenal, really happy. The place was crazy down there. There's some support he's getting at home at the moment, man. It's great. So what's next for us? I don't know, man. He's gonna be coming home with a lot of money in his back pocket anyway, because I reckon he's getting sixty grand for that, like extra, you know. Uh, but uh, I think they'll just give him like, like I'd say what'll happen. It'll be another fight, and then if he wins that, it'll be a, like a, a higher level guy, you know, make that step up. But uh, like we all know, Connor, we've watched him for a long time, so we know he's there anyway. You know, he can fight any of those guys and beat them. Who's this? This here. This is Nathan. This is the future. This is the guy we'll all be interviewing in a few years. Why, why did you think of the fight? I just thought every fight that Connor has, he just he just thinks like even when Frank was just swinging like an airplane, he was just he was just moving around and picking his strikes, and that's a market finish couldn't deal with. And uh, are you gonna be a fighter when you grow? I wanna be in the UFC. This is Nate the Great. This is the man Nate, right Nate here. Nate the Great. Nate Good. the Great. Good name. I'm, I'm banking on this kid. Have <laughs> you started training yet? Um, yeah, an SBG. He's an Irish grappling and kickboxing champion, so he's already on his road. We look forward to seeing the future. Yeah.